good evening everyone so i'll be uh, loading my presentation and while i'm loading i'll uh, just uh, one uh, well a few things have been made easy by my uh, previous presenter actually because uh, like uh, they mentioned the same thing remnant preservation and uh, our, uh, rajiv also showed how anatomically we have to go so before i start uh, good evening everyone Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Great work, Dr. Ashok and uh, Samshul and Bihar Orthopedic Association. So, uh, can I start now? Yes. 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 Go ahead, please. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, see, uh, idea of the paper when we started in 2016 was that uh, you have to be very precise while making uh, tibial and femoral tunnel positions. And a number of literatures have uh, proven that the important factor uh, determining the outcome is the uh, tunnel position among everything else it's the tunnel position and uh, there are many ways you can do there people have tried intropic navigation and all those things but uh, what uh, uh, people have done 3d ct uh, after the after they have gone through uh, their tunnel to see how they are doing how their tunnel will place they have changed their position intraoperatively after seeing their tunnel so but what we uh, went through while discussing one day is that there is something called bernard and hertel grip which uh, which arrived came from lot many anatomical studies and when the anatomical studies were done they found that two bundles of acl where they are attaching on femur and where they are attaching on tibia and they found that point if you are doing a single bundle or double bundle that where they are actually and that is how our uh, this came into picture actually bernard and hertel great can in a few of the cms also it can be done but uh, what we did was that we printed a equidistance uh, boxes on a uh, old fashion uh, transparency sheet which we used to make our presentations and we Uh, use this and we use cm and we use this while making our tunnel so while making our tunnel a shot is taken a transparency sheet is laid over it and the surgeon is told whether he is to back or to front to top or to bottom okay and similarly while making the he can make an adjustment and while making tibial tunnel also uh, we have our parameters and he can be told so i'll show it in your in the video actually so video should be up now so i use the cm uh, from the cm comes from the top cm can come from uh, below also but we normally use cm from the top and once the pin is there you can take a shot you put the pin where you want to make your tunnel you take your shot and then somebody is superimposing the grid on the cm the picture has to be perfect lateral and this is they are showing that point 18% which is too back i want to be 27% uh, approximately from back to front so this is too back and too high then accordingly i'll change my position i'll come slightly forward and slightly down and then again see how shot is taken and which shows that so i'm at 5 out of 18 boxes from back to front 5 by 18 and which is 27.7% in a single bundle this is anatomically absolutely what i want and then from top to bottom i am 3 out of 8 boxes which is 37 point percent which is where i want to be 37.5 so actually i am in, in the anatomical and then i can drill 
further go ahead and do my drilling, whether using uh, endo button or uh, tight rope, whatever. You can drill deciding upon the length which you want to drill. Similarly, on tibial tunnel, you don't have to, uh, uh, you can easily preserve the remnants. You just put it, so just to show that you can easily be very far back, you can adjust and then take a shot and take, put the grid just on the CRM screen. So somebody is, uh, this picture has been taken. It will just take two minutes uh, for somebody to put it. So it's 20 boxes and it is at nine by three, which is 45% from front to back, which is ideally where my center of my TVL tunnel should be. And I haven't disturbed any of my remnant or anything. So this is, and of course you can use if you're using CM, you can just extend your CM after putting the guide wire and you can see whether you are, uh, whether you will impinge or not. Now that's completely additional and you don't, uh, mostly you don't need to do it. Okay, so what are the pearls? Pearls are that you preserve the remnant and it's an ex inexpensive device and you can print it off. You can reproduce the technique. It's a, it does have a learning curve, but I, I'll, I'll assure you it's not very high learning curve. A CM is there in every theater. It brings accuracy, objectivity uh, in your tunnel placement. Of course, there is a pitfall. I've used it only in knee flexed position. I don't use a post to hang my leg as Rajiv was using it. So I've not, but then uh, Dr. Uh, uh, he, somebody has used it in flex position. Uh, Bhushan has used it in flex position and he says that it works because he took uh, one of the grid there and it says it works. It does increase your surgical time initially, but it plateaus out. Uh, if you see the result, it plateaus out. And of course, one value may not suit all the patients, but uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is what we have done, some CT scans, and this is what we have Okay, thank you.